Jeff Coughlin, Editor Scale Modelling Now. Welcome to this Inbox Browse for the Luke Graph 30 Second Scale D Havlin DH89 Dragon Rapide. Um, to say this one's been eagerly awaited would be an understatement. Uh, ever since I saw it, it was just it was a no-brainer. I just had to contact um, uh, Lucas uh, at the company and get one ordered. Um, as soon as possible. So very pleased to say that uh, it's arrived safely and here's a chance to look inside. Um, okay, so what we have is a multimedia uh, kit, uh, mostly resin parts, as you can see here. Um, lovely molded fuselage, um, plenty of Intel detail, as you can see over there. This is just taped together by the manufacturer, which is great. Um, You've got um, vac form parts, clear vac form parts. You've got 3D printed parts, which are some of the engine parts over here. Um, decals, photo etch, and the rest of it. So we'll get over to those in just a moment. So first of all, um, initial impressions. Quality, very good. Very, very nice indeed. I've built a number of different multimedia kits over the years. Um, plenty of resin ones. And I have to say, this is definitely up there with the best of them. Um, just looking at the parts, I mean, some of the classic things that you might find problems with, warping, no such uh, issues here. Pretty clean. This is gonna, these wing parts, as you can see here, are going to need minimal cleaning up. Got a nice uh, reinforcing brass rod through it, through the part, which is always great to try and help keep everything nicely aligned. Uh, beautifully packaged, as you can see, I've actually removed some of the parts from the packaging just to show you. Um, got these great lovely engine nacelles here uh, in two parts. Um, the big spats here that sit underneath. All of these parts are lovely uh, to look at. Good molding on those. Um, coming across, you've got what look like the um, center wing sections here, uh, probably on the underside wings, I would think. Um, internals, got the floor, um, cockpit floor and bits and bobs there. You've got uh, the, the prop blades here. The, these seem very nicely moulded too. Um, nice shape to those. Um, and the struts as well, which have got the classic uh, brass uh, strengthening rods inside, which is also good. Um, the 3D printed parts, it's actually the first time I've, I've put these into to, to a model before, but they look really good. Um, very nicely moulded, lovely seats in here for the inside of the aircraft. Um, some lovely sort of precision to some of these parts. Let me just check check those out there. Look at the wheel there with the little spokes. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll be using Sino to attach those. So there won't be an issue with that. Um, coming across to some of the other parts, um, very innovative this. You've got um, some lovely uh, clear, part, clear windows here. Photo etch, uh, and the photo etch is interesting because you've got the window surrounds. You've got bracing wires, the rigging bracing wires, which is good. You've got stitching for the underside of the fuselage, which is great. And any number of other little um, additions that you can see there. Um, uh, instrument panel, which is good. That'll be for the photo wedge part over here, which is good. Uh, the deco sheet's interesting. Um, you've got three options, I think, on, on the deco sheet. Um, they do look a little bit on the thick side, but that might just be me uh, looking at those. So I certainly will need, if we're going to use the deco sheet, I'm not sure yet that I am, but if we do, then I'll need to just remove, uh, I think, the um, codes from the backing paper, I think, they were sort of from the backing film, I should say, just to try and um, make them look uh, painted on, which would be great. Um, the instruction book's good, I like this. You've got a colour instruction book, which, which is good. Um, you've got very clear layout of the parts. You've got very clear indication of what the parts should look like once they are assembled. And you've got nice colour coding too. So it's, uh, looking at the model, I don't think it's that complicated. It's, it's not a complicated aircraft, yet there's plenty of detail in here. And I think that's one of the exciting things is that my hope is, that we can make good progress on this when I start the build. Um, I'll be starting the build very soon now in Scale Modeling Now, which will be good. Um, just finish off the current little project, but get some lovely little hints and tips here. Like for instance here, the dihedral on the wings, love that. Love the way you've got the option here to include the engine or to pose the engine outside the aircraft afterwards. Um, plenty of good indication as to what you need to do and where you need to do it. Um, 
the canopy, very interesting. We've got, oh, masks, by the way, here. Uh, clear parts here, for, uh, masks, I should say, for the clear parts, which is great. Um, and just popping back over to the canopy for a moment, just meant to point out just how beautifully moulded that is. That's a vac form canopy, but gosh, that's clear. Absolutely stunning. Back over here, I love little touches here. Notice this, you've got a couple of chairs, at lounge chairs outside the aircraft. I love that. That should make for a nice little diorama with one of the engines out on a little a dolly. I think that's cracking that and that I would think would be a good way to go in posing the model. Um, and then you've got the um, photo etch uh, guide here for the rigging wires, bracing wires that need to be added. Three different, uh, three, two, three, yeah, three different schemes. You've got an Israeli aircraft here, US Army Air Forces uh, aircraft, and of course you've got um, the British uh, RAF version on the back. So overall, I think that's an absolutely superb package. I'm really excited by this uh, as a build, as I hope you will be too. So the idea is essentially to get into it soon enough. And um, for me, I think that's uh, run out of the top drawer. What, some of the best, um, well, it's the best multimedia kit I've ever seen. Um, I think that that would be fair to say. And I'm just excited to see how it all goes together, just as I'm sure you are too. So there we go. That's the Lugraph um, multimedia um, DH89 uh, Dragon Rapide. Um, excellent. Love it.